Hey, what's up guys? I'm Prey Torn and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing as Austria Hungary in the battle for the Bosphorus expansion. Uh, so before we get started, one thing to announce guys. So the CK3 series is going to be starting later today, so maybe four or five, six hours after this video comes out. Uh, the new CK3 series will be starting and I had intended to just have these both going at the same time at regular schedule uh, until this series finishes however I am having to change that position now guys because uh, my kids unfortunately just got a, a email today and you know, my kids came and notified me as well that uh, they will not be going back to school uh, soon after Wednesday. Uh, they will not have any more physical school until January. They're going back to distant learning, you know, so the same format that they were doing back in, in August and September, and I think a little bit October as well. Uh, they're on that distant learning, uh, so that does result in, it's essentially homeschooling our kids. Uh, that's, that's what it comes down to. They, they do stuff online, uh, but for the most part, you know, you gotta be there, uh, you know, educating your kids. And so since I, I spend more time at the house here than my wife does nowadays, you know, with me only working part time, it does mean that I'm uh, responsible for that. Uh, so because of that, uh, and again, they're going to be home doing the distant learning until some random time in January. They haven't even told us when. And, and I do believe this is because of the uh, the little surge of, of COVID cases that is happening right now. Uh, so I think that that surge is the reason why they're doing this. Uh, but the point is, is that uh, they're going to be home uh, every day starting on Thursday uh, until sometime in January and I'll have to, to help them with their, their schooling. And so I, I just don't see how I'm going to record three videos a day. Uh, it's just it's just too much, guys. Uh, it's just not possible. Uh, so instead, what we're going to do with this series is it's going to have to go to the every other day format as we did with that last Hearts of Iron 4 series that was going on at the same time as the CK3 series. So with that format, uh, I put videos out. Instead of doing six videos a week, I do three videos a week, and those days are on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, so Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday will be when we have videos for this series until we finish it. Uh, it's unfortunate, uh, but you know it's been a weird year, guys. 2020 has been an extremely strange year. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get started in today's episode. We have three current conflict areas. Obviously, Alaska here, which uh, neither one of us are really in a position to attack just yet. I think we would lose, even with all the troops we have here. We're going to have to wait till we get the full 12, and then I'm going to attempt to attack right here. We will attack with all 12 divisions. It is into the mountains, though, uh, so I don't know if we'll be able to win there or not. They do look kind of weak here, though. Uh, at least the organization is. Strength is a little bit weak as well. Uh, and then we have this conflict area here in the Philippines where we're fighting. Uh, so we'll be continuing that. And then we have the naval invasions that we've been doing. And we'll be continuing exactly. those. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and get the next naval invasion planning. We're going to hit that port up right there. And we're going to go ahead and sign all these troops here. And we don't really need two divisions to do this, so we'll sign one of them. And we'll get that uh, last province there wrapped up. We might want to send additional troops here. Uh, I don't know that this will be enough. Once we land, uh, it'll be enough to take the port, but I don't know that it'll be enough to get it, you know, to build advance as fast as we'd want. So let's go ahead and take some more troops and send them over here. We'll do a total of eight divisions here. I don't know that we'll bring the tanks into this area though. I don't think so guys. We'll just use the infantry. I think that'll be fine. All right, uh, so that's being conducted as well. Uh, so let's focus on the Philippines. I'd really like to get this area finished up, guys. I think that'd be helpful. Is there any air bases here where we could kind of speed up our divisions? I know there's a couple air bases in the Philippines, but it looks like we don't have possession of them just yet. Yeah, because I'm not seeing them anywhere. All right, so attacking there. Uh, we do want to get any troops here cut off, so let's go and move across here so that they'll be uh, cut off before we destroy them. Alright, so we'll go across here first, and then we'll attack those troops there. We're going to need to create a new front so they don't keep coming back, obviously. Turn this down just a little bit. Alright, so let's go and take all these troops out and come over here. Although it's really not necessary. I guess there's only one location to take, huh? Never mind. So I don't, I don't think we can go across here. I think we'll have to do further naval invasions. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy these troops here first, and then we'll do those. You see, the Germans have already come, which is not good, uh, since, of course, that does result in them soaking up some of the supply here, and now we're taking more attrition 
because of that. Now, we're already taking attrition because of the jungle and the heat. So, yeah, not good. Uh, it looks like you can retreat over to here. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to want these guys to go all the way across here. Again, it's just these ten divisions here. And so, yeah, we can come all the way down here. I know that you can't take all the Philippines, though, uh, because this area here and, of course, here would require naval invasions. All right, so we're going to want all the troops going here. And then we'll have to split them here to grab these two provinces. Okay, so yeah, we'll get most of it conquered. Then we'll set up some naval invasions. We'll go and dip around and see what's happened over here real quick. Make sure we're not losing convoys or anything like that. Uh, and then these guys can come on over to this location here. And uh, we'll need to bring our, our submarines over here in order to actually do this attack. Uh, but it's going to take a little while to get it, get it planned up here. Yeah, we're looking at uh, 20 more days, so we can be patient and wait. Uh, let's dip over here to Alaska, make sure we're not losing or anything like that. Okay, so still looking good here, guys. All right, fantastic. So let's go back to the Philippines and try and get this, this war over here finished up. I'm surprised we actually have one larger division here. I didn't realize that. All right, so let's go and have just one division go take care of that for us while the rest will come over here. And just kind of shoot across here. And then have these guys go over here as well. And we'll have one go grab that for us real quick. All right, excellent. So these guys can go grab, grab that island. And again, this should be a very easy and quick conflict here. And it'll just result in the allies not having any territory over here anymore. I think they have a couple ports still. Yeah, there's that port right there. We had noticed a couple other locations as well. You know, obviously they have all their islands here. Which I'm not super interested in conquering. Uh, I know that would increase our war participation. Uh, but honestly, I just kind of want to focus on the, the conquest of North America. We're going to get a ton of war participation just from that alone. Alright, so we'll just shoot all the way across here. Come down to this area and get that uh, bit conquered. And then we'll have to do naval invasions to take this area. Which I do want to do that. So we'll do that at the very least. Remember, we're still, you know... Sinking all their convoys, which again is is pretty effective. We're killing a lot of troops with that. And we could go ahead and set up the naval invasion now from the closest port. That's not a port province. It looks like that one would be the closest port in what we have here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and actually set up a naval invasion uh, over here now. Probably not going to need very many troops. Uh, I think only a, a couple would be needed. So let's just go and take these two here and then set them up to do this naval invasion. And we might want to do multiple naval invasions here. We'll take two there and then we'll just take uh, a couple, like maybe one more. Uh, I don't think that more than that will be necessary. Alright, so we'll have them attack there. Uh, do we have any air zones here? Okay, we do have an uh, air base here, but it looks like the Germans are already here providing coverage, so. It's not really a concern. Uh, we won't even bother bringing any fighters here. Alright, so these seven will finish this up for us. Let's go and dip over to Alaska and see how we're doing there. We did just get those troops there, so they're going to need to get positioned, and then we'll attack. Uh, they are continuing us to attack us here, but they're not having any success in those attacks. In fact, they're probably taking fairly high casualties there. Uh, Corsica's already been wrapped up. I did note in my pinned comment that I forgot about them there, uh, but it looks like somebody else took care of it for us. Uh, so, yeah, don't need to worry about that any longer. And six more days. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell them to enact their attack as soon as they're able to, and then let's go ahead and get these numbers here increased. Uh, so I think this side... Okay, so these guys are over here. So let's throw them. Actually, we'll change this up. And then have them come over to this one. And then these three will all be going into this one right here. Alright, excellent. So, I I want to say we have... Yeah, we lost a task force here, so we will need to create a new task force. Uh, as far as the sea zones recovering, I don't think we're seeing like anything come through here at this point. So we probably don't need to cover some of these sea zones at least. Maybe pull back just a little bit. And then we'll want to cover this one. We don't really need to cover that one any longer, I think. 
Yeah, so let's just cover through here. And that should be enough to be able to do that invasion. So I think at this point they should just be, yeah, they're just waiting for the six days. And then they'll launch that invasion for us. So we'll have to dip back over there in a few days here. Um, look at the 11th. Make sure they're launching it. All right. So just about grabbing this province here. There are still some Filipino troops. I don't know if I've seen any American jet. I haven't really been paying attention to the flags, though, so... Let's go ahead and have... I, I'm not really super interested in fighting across the river here, so let's attempt to avoid fighting them. Okay, so it looks like they did go to the other way. That's not what I intended to do, so we'll go this way now. We might need to lock them down to ensure we don't have to fight them there, but probably not. I think we should get there first. Yeah. We're moving much faster because of our control of the skies, as well as, you know, our divisions are just faster anyways. And I think that's the Germans attacking, not us. Alright, so we have now finished up this defense. Let's see if we can't get over there before they do. And we did finish up the research of the anti-tanks, the new ones here. Uh, let's go ahead and get... You know what? I really feel like we should go ahead and, and get... We're doing so many naval invasions. Uh, we need to get the new submarines, obviously. That's 38 days to get those. That would be really, really quick. Well, it's 115 days to get the advanced landing craft. Okay, we'll do the submarines first then, just because we have that nice research bonus there. Yeah, that's gonna, that's definitely going to be worth it, guys. So we'll get the better submarines out there. Uh, so we do need to upgrade the anti-tanks here. All right. So just another day and that invasion should launch over there. Let's go ahead and get these guys pushing forward here. Well, this guy's going to go across this way. Get some of them going that way, while well, this guy will come over here. Have him go across that way as well. Alright, so the Germans locked those troops down, and uh, that should result in us being able to cut them off now, so that's excellent. Uh, let's take a look and see if these guys are ready to go just yet. Uh, we might not have... Hmm. Might be a different... You know what, guys? I think what we're going to do is let this finish up here, because otherwise we'll lose control of it. They'll just, even though we don't have an offensive line order, they'll still take control. Uh, these guys have not launched their attack just yet. There we go. All right, so they have launched their attack. We'll have to see when they arrive. We've got to keep our eye on that uh, so that we can take advantage of, uh, you know, nobody defending over there when we first arrive. All right, so let's grab that port. That will result in these troops having no escape. So that'll be big for us. All right, so with one of these guys, have him go wrap up this territory here. While he will continue going down this way. Let's grab that province right there. All right, so they're going to take care of this for us. All right, let's go over here. Grab that province. And let's just go and dip over here and see if we've landed just yet. No, it looks like it's going to take a little bit of time. Let me see if I can't see exactly when they arrive here. Uh, three days and 17 hours, so we'll come back on the 17th and see how they're doing there. We'll, we'll dip over to the Alaskan front real quick to see how things are going here. All right, so they continue to attack us there for both of these locations. Uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. Do we want to attack them just yet? Do we have all 12 divisions? I guess that's the question. I know a lot of these guys are attempting to leave, so we might want to wait for them to go before we do our attack. Uh, they all also have lower organization as well. Not because of being out in the sea in the Philippines, you just capitulated. Okay, so we didn't have to conquer all of this territory, but we'll have to conquer this one here. Uh, let's just go ahead and, and get rid of this here. And then we'll just send one of these guys over that way. And then I believe we can go ahead and send the Green Army as soon as they get their convoys reserved. And then with the rest of these troops, uh, let's just see here. Is there any other area we'd like to conquer? We could go in and take that island there. Just to get them knocked out and to get the extra points there. I'm not super interested in conquering all of the islands though. Again, this gives us a little bit of war score, but I don't think it's worth it. We could conquer these two though. Uh, just these two to keep them out of this area. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We have two divisions assigned there. We're going to have one or maybe two assigned here because the French might actually have some troops there. 
Because they don't really have a, a whole lot of troops, honestly. And we don't want to send the really good one over there. I don't think that's necessary. Maybe have three coming over here? Yeah, I think that'd be good. And then have just like two do an invasion from here. Maybe even three, actually. Let's take this guy, have him go there. And then I think the only divisions are these two, the bigger ones. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send them to Hawaii now. And I think everybody should have an assignment. All the ones that were here in the Philippines. And then we're gonna want them all to go as soon as they're as soon as they are ready. We do control all those sea zones, so it shouldn't be a problem. And we don't need to watch that situation over there anymore either. They should take care of all this for us. So now we can focus entirely on this front here. And remember, once we get here, we're gonna want to push forward as quickly as possible, take as much territory as quickly as possible. And it does look like we have to fight somebody here, but we are gonna win, uh, so that's what's important. Now they could move troops over here, which yeah, if they do, you'll notice that this will this will change. Yeah, I don't know if we'll win or not, guys. We'll just have to see. Looks like we did not win. It just got pulled back here for some weird reason. Huh. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why that happened. Let's go ahead and stop that and get him back over here. I'm not sure how we went from 85 in the green to just losing all of a sudden. Very strange. Uh, we do have our, our air base here that we can now make use of. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get the, the naval bombers out here helping us out. I think that would be big. So yeah, we'll get some naval bombers. We're gonna wanna bomb in both of these areas here. So let's have them do bomb and run. And then we're gonna want to go ahead and just duplicate it. And then duplicate it one more time. And then have uh, these ones cover this area for us. Now, I know that they're gonna have a penalty here, but remember we are building this up. Uh, so this will eventually get bigger. Uh, but let's go ahead and sign some fighters over there as well. Again, I'm okay with the, the penalty, the temporary penalty from overstaffing, just so that I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm looking for fighters, by the way, guys. Not seeing any. Remember, we did lose thousands of planes. I did confirm that. Uh, we lost, I don't know, probably about th maybe as much as 3,000 planes when China took over all that territory. It was a lot, guys. We lost a ton. And when you add that to the 2,000 planes we lost, when we lost that airbase, 1,800, uh, essentially we've lost almost 5,000 planes from that bug. Uh, it's just so frustrating, guys. Yeah, it's really frustrating. Uh, luckily we have a massive air force, but it would be nice <laughs> if this wasn't a problem at all. Uh, and then we're gonna wanna duplicate this. And I don't know if they could cover that region. They might be able to. Let me just double check. Oh, they can. Okay, well, we'll u utilize that. In fact, we might even be able to get close air support over here. Uh, so we might do that here in a little bit. Uh, we'll wait until we get this built up a little bit more before we go any further. All right, just gonna dip through here, see how we're doing with these. Obviously the Green Army's launching all their invasions you know, as they uh, are able to. Uh, so those guys should launch there as soon as they're ready. We did win here already, so we can go ahead and finish this up now. Get that area conquered. We'll take a look and see what happened over here. Looks like we sunk a convoy there. Okay. And sunk another convoy there. Alright, here in Alaska, are we ready to do our own attacks? Not just yet. I think we still have troops that are attempting to move. It's going to take them time to get in all these locations. Uh, but they keep on attacking us, so I almost want to just take a look and see if we couldn't win with what we have here. Let's just see if this would end up being a win or not. And then with these ones, we'd want to support that attack. That might be a win, hard to say. As of right now, it's kind of all over the place. All right, so yeah, it did not end up working. But we can try attacking again with the troops here that actually have some organization. Maybe. Uh, maybe not though. I'm trying to help out there. Okay, so it looks like we did force some divisions to leave, but we did end up losing the overall battle there. All right, well we can try again a little bit later. All right, so these guys are just about there. We have finished up here, so let's go and bring them over to this invasion. All right, and we've also launched the attack here, almost there. 
Excellent. And up us there as well. All right, so looking very, very good on getting this region finished up here today. I can go ahead and get one division conquering that. And the rest of them can just come on over here. Again, I think this is all we're going to be conquering, guys. As far as these ports. We did a little bit here. I don't see the point on getting getting the rest of it. Again, you just don't get a lot of war score from from that. Yeah, there's little islands here all over we could we could grab. I just don't think it's it's worth the effort. And we have one here as well. All right, fantastic. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then send these troops on over to here. In fact, the whole entire green army, I believe, should be ready to come on over here now. All right, excellent. Uh, so looking good. Taking over all these regions and thus uh, there's really not... Oh, Try to click on myself here. There isn't something right there I didn't see. Huh. Let me see, can you like, um... Huh. There's no port there, so I think... Whatever. Yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. Why are they going to there? They should be coming into here. Are they worried about supply? They might be. However, this is not really going to be a problem soon. Yeah, they're set on going to that port. I'm assuming they're worried about supply. Uh, remember, we are building this area up, though. So it shouldn't be a problem. I, I want to say we're still still working on that. Maybe not. And we already built it all the way up. They already have the... This really shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to get 20 divisions on there. Even if uh, some of them are 40 width. They should be able to do it. Alright, so let's take a look at how we're doing on the airbase. Uh, I want to get this fully built up, uh, and let me just make sure that we're, we're working on that. Yeah, we are. And we should send more troops over here, clearly. Uh, eight was not enough. So I'll send a few more and see if they can't uh, tip that into our favor. And we were able to get all ten assigned, right? Yep, because remember we do have a, a limit on how many we can... We can put on to invasions, and we're not on the last level just yet. We still need to get that tech. So we'll just dip through here and see how our submarines are doing on getting convoys sunk. Uh, and we'll go ahead and continue getting these guys increased in numbers here. So we're going to sign the entire four here. We're doing like ten for each. And then I want to say they have ten here. Yeah, they have a total of ten there. So now let's go ahead and add these five here. And then get them getting that last tenth convoy raid. There we go. Beautiful. And are these guys repairing? Uh, they might be. No, they're not repairing. I think I just didn't give them an order. There we go. So get them out there as well. Okay. So again, just trying to get this airbase built up uh, so that we're not, you know, overstaffing this uh, anymore. And then I want to add some close air support there too. So that's what we're waiting on before we do this next invasion, and just seeing if we can't destroy any any enemy ships as well. Not having a lot of luck on actually destroying surface ships at this moment. So that's been unfortunate. So let's take a look at the Alaska situation. Now I have 11 divisions there. All right, that's a bummer. We're still moving troops over to here. It just takes so long to move anybody. Uh, we did get the 1944 submarine holes, so we'll have to get those designed. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the uh, submarine snorkels. We'll get those. And then we'll just design them all at the same time. Uh, well, you know what? That's two months. We could be building better subs. We should do that now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys designed. Uh, obviously, we don't have the, the better snorkels. I do want to keep the, the snorkels on there uh, just because we did take such... We took in so many heavy losses with the submarines. Uh, let's go with the, the better engines and the better torpedo tubes. We could improve our... our Torpedoes. Obviously, we have level four here because those go with the submarine tanks. Uh, but there are those other torpedo tanks, which would make sense to get, guys. Uh, like I could see them improving our submarine's combat ability by quite a bit, and we haven't gotten those yet. But really, we haven't gotten much when it comes to naval techs. All right, so I think that's good to go. Let's go and save that. We'll just make the adjustment to the snorkels uh, later on here. Uh, so let's go ahead and. Set these guys up to only build one more each. 
And then we're going to have to set up some lines. It looks like this one isn't even able to build anything at all, so we can just go and destroy that. They had a little bit of progress there, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it, guys. So let's going to get these out here now. We're going to want all new subs going, excuse me, all new dockyards going into these. And we'll probably have most of them coming here to Venice at this point. Oops. You know, that's a large base as well, so let's go into this one. It's just a little bit easier for them to get into the Atlantic from there. So we'll go ahead and have uh, probably the majority of them coming coming into here. And we can go and decommission these older models here. I don't see those anymore. And how many lines did we have going? Let me just double check here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six lines going. Okay, so we'll want to get a total of six lines then. And again, we'll probably have most of them coming over here. Uh, maybe one or two on the other side of things. Right, and how many is that? That's four. I think we'll only have one uh, on the other side for right now, since this is the place where we need the most subs. And then, yeah, we'll take one more and have them coming over here. All right, excellent. Move those guys up there, and we are good to go, guys. So as we get those subs finished building, they'll start working on the next type. I believe we did get all of them. Yeah, just building one more. Okay, excellent. All right, Everest is at 1,200. I remember we're trying to get that up as high as possible uh, so before we attempt to do anything there. So they continue to attack us here into the mountains, and they just aren't having any success. I almost want to build up a little bit of a fortification here. I think that would be wise uh, to build a, a fort here. Just in case this ends up being uh, you know, the, our continued uh, front line here. Remember, they cannot build while they're being attacked. But anytime they're not attacking, they'll be able to work on that. Just result in higher casualties uh, for them. All right, so these guys are still moving, and these guys are still moving. And then once they're done and they get their planning bonus up, We'll attempt an attack against... Well, there's only four divisions there now. We could probably win now. Yeah, hey, I'm just going to go and attack them right now. I think we'll be able to win this. And we do have some planes here. we got fighters and some close air support. Uh, we could always move a few more here, but I think this is probably enough for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and have... These guys will support that attack. They're all attacking, so we need to support that. All right, so should be able to get a win there. We'll see, guys. All right, we'll decline that. All right, how are we doing on this? Still at 1,200 here. And I do believe we're building it all the way up, if I'm not mistaken. We should be. All right, so the 28th of July is when we'll get the next one done. There we go, so we're at 1,400 now. Uh, so next we'll want to add some close air support, and then we'll do the, the attack there. And then we should have... We got almost all of them there. There's a few that haven't arrived just yet. But yeah, we should have the full 20 divisions there soon. They're all getting over there now. Hopefully nobody's catching them and sinking them. Uh, we also have a lot of troops that are training here. We can see if any of them are ready to be taken out. Looks like we have uh, these medium tanks that uh, could be removed and put into the Red Army here. Remember, we're going to want to use them over here. So what we should probably do now at this point is just go ahead and remove this and then give them a new order. And let me make sure they don't have any other orders. Uh, move them all over to here at this point now. And so are they not in a port? I thought they were. Apparently they're not. So let's go ahead and get them all coming over to here and then have them come over to the port. We want to make sure they all go, including these ones here. All right, excellent. In fact, you know what, let's just, well, we'll wait till they get there. But we could just give them an order so we can send any future tanks over there. Uh, they shouldn't have any supply issues here since it is a large naval base there. We do have German troops there though, so that's of concern. All right, so still sitting at 1400 there. Let's take a look at our Alaska situation here. Did we win? Looks like we did win. All right, fantastic news, guys, fantastic news. All right, so that'll result in a two province front. Uh, so it's going to be much more difficult for them to, to push us out of here at this point. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they'll be pushing us out of here. Now the question is, can we push forward? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see, guys. Let's see if we're able to push forward at all. And we will make sure we're supporting those attacks. Right, that ended up being a quick win, though. 
these guys retreating, but some of them are coming back. It does take a very long time for us to move into this area. It's just uh, the, the damn uh, provinces are so huge, They're massive provinces. We did get the modern rubber processing, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and go after, see which one of these we'd like to get here. Let's go with the uh, the growth rate. We also finished up the naval bombers. Uh, is that the last one that we had? That is the last one. Okay, so we are done here. We could always get some some larger bombers, and I could definitely see some uses for having some tactical bombers, guys. Uh, but especially there, uh, once we go to America, there's a lot of stuff we need to get, guys. Like a ton of stuff. So I think we should probably work on that first. Like, let's get the advanced landing craft here. Anything to help out our invasions, I think would be worth it. Let's go get the better naval bombers out there building. All right, looking good, guys. And still continuing sinking convoys here and there. Uh, question is, is there any way fighting in Africa? There's not, but there's Madagascar. We could do an invasion of Madagascar. Uh, I might do that with that yellow army, perhaps. I could see there being some utility in doing this. Let's go ahead and set them up. And yeah, maybe we might actually do this uh, Naval Major in Madagascar get some points there. Just trying to get that war participation up. As of right now, we're looking at, uh, we're 28%. Yeah, 28%, remember we started at 26 the other day. So that's where we're currently at. We've gotten 2%, so it is increasing. It's getting better, guys. Uh, now we can get the close air support here, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and send, uh, I thought we had more fighters here. Somebody must not be doing a mission. Oh, we already have somebody here in New England where we're probably taking heavy casualties, I would assume, because <laughs> they had a lot of fighters there. All right, so let's go ahead and get, we'll just do this one at a time, and I'm gonna move these guys out of there for right now. And just move over here so we're not taking those casualties. Uh, let's go ahead and move over to, uh, or excuse me, let's go ahead and get these close air support deployed. We'll just do whatever, it doesn't matter which ones. And then for right now, they can do the, the naval bombing, the naval strike, just until we get, again, I'm going to wait until we get this fully built up. Make sure that we have, uh, you know, good control here. So yeah, we'll just have them do naval bombing for right now. Although, they haven't really had any success engaging anybody here. That's okay. Got some more convoys sunk through here. Excellent. And again, just still just waiting to get our troops over here. It looks like they lost immediately. All right, well, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, they lost right away. All right, so let's go and send some more troops up there then. And maybe we might even take whoever's here and see if they couldn't win an attack there. Probably not. Oh, they are winning. Uh, but it looks like it's ticking down now. We might win there. Uh, let's just have them do that. All right, so they're still moving, they're still moving. So yeah, that's unfortunate they got there and then they got defeated immediately. Especially considering just how long it takes to move there. That's a real bummer. Okay. So where are we at? All right, it looks like the, the Germans moved planes here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we don't want them here. I'm trying to make sure that I'm able to, to have full control here. But yeah, if they have planes here. Yeah, that's a bummer. Oh, they did move them. All right, so now let's go ahead and get uh, another air wing of close air support. Yeah, we could have just dupl duplicated the close air support we already have here. And so let's duplicate them. And then the last air wing will be fighters. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that now, guys. I will duplicate them. Uh, and it looks like we actually have a fighter shortage. Well, that's surprising. Uh, I know that we have some fighters sitting around not doing anything. There's some close air support there we can make use of. Let's move them over here to Alaska, actually. I'll help us out there. Uh, I know that there's some bombers, or there were some bombers there. Apparently, I already moved those. We have, you know, those are German and Portuguese planes. And we just lost so many planes, man. So many planes. And we have a lot right there, which is more than is necessary. Uh, some of these are close air support, I believe, too. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for fighters. I'm not really seeing, yeah, I mean, that's probably what we got hit the hardest with was the uh, the fighter loss. Uh, let's then take a look, see if we can do something about that. Uh, we already have 40 factories going into this, so yeah. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll pull back production on the, the naval bombers. I don't really feel like this is as necessary. Let's go up to 50 here for the fighters. We'll take a look and see if there's any other equipment that we're short on artillery. 
Apparently artillery is quite bad. Light tanks is bad as well. So we're going to need to change this up. Go up to 10 here for artillery. Uh, maybe pull back on anti-tanks. How are we doing on that? Yeah, anti-tanks are doing fine. So we can go ahead and pull back on the anti-tanks by quite a bit. And then we want the light artillery as well. Or excuse me, light tanks. Let me increase those numbers a bit too. All right, so that looks good. And yeah, they, they are getting less and less likely to be able to assume leadership here as we have more and more factories and, and more and more divisions out there as well. Yeah, it looks like they would have to have 9.5 million manpower deployed in order to seize leadership. So it's not gonna be happening anytime soon. Uh, so we did get the cipher done uh, against France. Uh, I don't know who we'd want to do next. I guess we'll take a look. Maybe Canada? Yeah, we'll have to fight Canada. That would make sense if we haven't already done them, which we have not. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Canada. All right, fantastic. Uh, we did finally win here. All right, finally took this here, uh, and we're still defending it. Looks like we're now being attacked here. Both those guys are going there. They were going there as well. Yeah, it just takes so long to get over there. So damn long. Uh, we're still holding the province, and now it's in the green. All right, excellent. They're attacking us here. Our attack there did fail. It's just a, a rough area to fight in. But this is going to cause them very large numbers of casualties, and again, it distracts a lot of troops as well. Uh, so we did knock out the last of the land doctrines. That's excellent. Took us a long time to get those. Uh, we finally have it done, though. Uh, so that's good. Uh, we do need to get more support companies, though. So could go ahead and get these here. Uh, are we garrisoning yet? We're not. We still don't have to garrison. Uh, let's go ahead and do the infantry anti-tanks. I think that'd be helpful. I don't know how many tanks the Americans actually have. I haven't really been paying attention to their situation. And we do have all our planes here. We haven't finished building. That's what we need to wait on until we get that last little patch done there in the 29th of August. So I suppose... September is when we will do the invasion there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we do still control all the sea zones there, so we're good to go on that front. Uh, I don't know that we need to operate over here any longer, so we'll go ahead and pull back on these. I just don't think this is uh, necessary any longer. So they can focus solely on these areas here, which I think are a little bit more important. What we could do is try and stop them from supplying their any troops they might have on the islands here, which would be all through here. So we could have them operate in those regions. Oops, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. Yeah, we'll have them operate here. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if we have any success there, sinking any convoys. All right, so you now we're just waiting till September. And yeah, it does look like, well, I was going to say we we're going to hold it, but now I'm not so sure. Uh, we did get the nuclear reactors, so we can build those. Uh, and could start going at the nuclear bombs. I don't think that's the best way to, to do this right now, though. Could go in and get the radar, uh, which is, of course, always helpful. You know what, guys? I think we're going to get uh, some of this other stuff knocked out first. Uh, there's so many things that we could be doing, and I really want to improve the submarines. So let's go ahead and do that. These are the submarine techs. Now, we don't need these ones, uh, obviously. Uh, because those are for the, the surface ships, uh, the torpedoes for them. But we do want these three here. Getting these would have been super helpful, especially if we'd gotten them earlier. Let's use that experience to get them quicker as well. Since we're relying so much on submarines, it does make sense to improve those torpedoes. So we're almost ready. I think this is should be built here soon. Of course, the Germans are here, so we're still getting a penalty, which is a bummer. I hate that they, uh, they're supposed to not do that anymore. But uh, that is not the case. Uh, they're definitely still doing it. So there's 300 active fighters here. So let's just go ahead and take uh, a few of ours here. And then bring them over to here. And then we're going to want to take any closed air support that are here. And have them do closed air support here. It doesn't look like they can reach. Damn it. Uh, that's all the reason why we moved them here. That's the whole reason why we built this base up. We can't provide coverage. I didn't realize they were so small. So that's a bummer. Or their range was so small, I meant. Okay, so we'll just have to do... Uh, the attack without close air support will at least have fighter support. Though I don't know that we'll actually be able to contend. Okay, so they'll move the planes. And so in that case, we'll want to go ahead and move these guys over here. And we're going to do the more ground crews as well, since they're not going to have great efficiency here. You see that they 
are able to, to control it here despite the fact that we have more fighters. Uh, efficiency is probably the reason for that. And let me double check. These guys are over here and nope, they're still still moving. It's going to take them some time to get over there. And they'll have to take the, the port through here. Okay. Uh, did sink another convoy there. Alright, so now we're just waiting to uh, get our troops over here. And uh, hopefully this is successful. Let's we'll see. We have some free dockyards. Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five. It looks like I messed that up a little bit. I didn't do enough, apparently. Uh, so let's go and fix that. Let's do one more, and then get them assigned. Probably keep them all going here, and then we'll want to take a look at the submarine situation. See where all these guys are at. So these ones all went to, to Venice, of course. Uh, let's go in and get them. Oops, I think I sent that to the wrong guy, but whatever. Yeah, uh, so let's go and have these guys go over here now. And we don't have any fours built just yet. I'll have them all join there. And then with these last five here, let's just have them all go over to this one. All right, excellent. All right, so just waiting for this here. And uh, looks like we're gonna be successful for right now, though that can always change. It changed last time, we are yeah. What's that to see, guys? Uh, it's gonna be difficult to get a win here. And yeah, one division leaves, that's strange. I don't think that's working, working properly, guys. One division leaves, whoever is the main division attacking, once they retreat, it seems like the entire army retreats. I don't know what's going on there, guys. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you what, guys. Hoi 4 seems like it's just still bugged, even so long after, man. It's still got the same damn, same problems, man. And new problems on top of it. I really feel like Paradox needs to take some time to really work on fixing some of these important issues that need to get fixed. Alright, so we should have all, we have all 20 divisions here. We'd like to get it up to a full 24. Also, the Red Army, we, or excuse me, they're not red anymore, are they? They're blue. Are they taking attrition? They are taking attrition. Okay, too much uh, troops here. Alright, so that's a problem. The Portuguese have come here, and now they're causing the supply issues. Can we improve that? I bet that's where the light tanks, the problem with the light tanks is gone. We can build that up, and then build this naval base up, and then see if that will, you know, fix it. I don't know though, guys. Also, I have all this infrastructure building. Uh, several people didn't like the idea of just letting our factories not do anything. So what we're doing is I'm just building infrastructure in this region all the way up to, to level 10, guys. We'll just slowly build it all out. Uh, frankly, it's it's pointless because uh, we're not even building here, and it's not we don't need the resources here. But you know, if, I understand if people really don't want those factories sitting around not doing anything, so we'll do that. It looks like we have troops that can deploy. Uh, let's go and deploy these now. Get them uh, training up here. All right, we could always build some more troops. But we're gonna wait. I don't think we really need more troops. We have the. Uh, the naval invasion situation here, man. I don't, I don't know what's what's going on there, but we should not be losing that uh, like that. That does not look like it's it's working properly, honestly. Uh, we might not want our planes here any longer. Yeah, so we're going to have efficiency uh, problems, so we're going to take higher losses. Doesn't make any sense to have them there. And let's see if these guys are ready to invade Madagascar. They just got here. So it's going to take them a little bit of time. They should have everything they need here, though. Yeah, as of right now, we just have to seize control. Uh, we did get the snorkels, so... Ah, damn. Now we're going to need to change those up. Uh, do we have... Okay, we do still have naval experience. I was thinking I had just spent it all. So we have this going here. I think we're done with the, the naval techs. Yeah, uh, we're done with the naval techs, unless we wanted to get some, you know, some stuff here. But I don't think that would be... Uh, all that useful. So we could do the mine warfare and then build a a submarine model that can can mine up some areas. So we could always do that. I suppose that'd be useful. You know, if we were to do anything uh, when it comes to the navy, I think the most useful thing would be to go ahead and start getting the trade interdiction, so that we can uh, you know get all these bonuses for the submarines. That'd be really helpful. 
So yeah, if we were to do anything, we'd we would do that. Uh, if we were doing anything with the the navy, but there's so many other things to get that we need. Also, it looks like our agency finished up something there. I don't know how long it has been done. Uh, but let's get the improved infantry equipment. That would help the uh, the naval invasions. Uh, we should really try and focus on getting things done that helps with the naval invasion. So we did finish up the repair collaboration government. Excellent. So I think we should go ahead and do another mission here, which I think we just do the next one. Do it one more time, guys. Uh, so who is, it's her, and then him. All right, fantastic. And remember, we do still have him working on uh, resistance here in Poland. Is that still necessary? It's still the highest area of resistance, so we can keep him there, I suppose. And then for the intel, how are we doing on getting the intel up here? We're still only at 57%. All right, so that's not ticking up. We might need to assign somebody else to get that higher. I don't know. Uh, we are not having much success there. And man, we, we continue to, to lose here. I, I don't know if it's just because the troops aren't getting there quick enough. I know that like it takes so long to move here, but yeah, we're having trouble holding this territory. Are they attacking? They are. Let's try attacking them here with intent of helping out. So I don't know how well that's going to work. but And yeah, we'll accept that, I suppose. I feel like we don't need that much artillery, though. Oh, I should have accepted that one. I think the attrition here is what's impacting us. Uh, I think the attrition's kind of bad. Uh, there's just too many troops here. Now, it might get better. Let's move these guys over to here, though. That might actually make it worse. These guys aren't training, are they? Now they're just lacking... Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem once we build that, that naval base up. But yeah, they are taking attrition here, so if we just left the region then we might not see any issues here. But I want to see what happens once we have the naval base up. But yeah, I also don't want to be taking attrition here either. It is a 16% attrition penalty here. So yeah, we might need to move these guys out. Right, let's just move the uh, the medium tanks out, I guess. I think that's the end of the supply zone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so moving those guys should end up working. And then they shouldn't move back until after the supply is fixed. So yeah, that should hopefully fix it. No. No, not enough to, to fix it, unfortunately. But it's not as bad either. So we've improved it. And yeah, we don't need to accept this. We will take anything from the Germans, of course, because it doesn't impact. You know, they obviously, they're not our puppet. All right, so these guys are ready to go again. Let's, let's attempt this again. Guys, I'm, I'm not, again, oops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, why they're losing. We're going to watch it, but it does seem like the moment one division leaves, then it's over. And then they win. Uh, so that's really strange. Because, yeah, it seems like the once one division leaves, like the organization of everybody just drops and plummets to basically nothing. Let's take a look, see what we've got here. So let's going to move these ones into this. Let's get these guys coming over here. Excellent. Just that massive submarine task force. And we are sinking the convoys. Are these troop convoys that are coming here to defend these islands? Or is it just they have troops here and we're sinking their supplies? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, looks like we've gotten it back. Okay. So I think we should hold it now. We should have enough troops there. Uh, so we'll attempt to attack there with all these troops here. Once we get everybody there. Uh, th hopefully this defense should go well for us, though. I don't know, though. It's hard to say. They must be attacking with a ton of troops, guys. Yeah, look at all these divisions. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of divisions. That makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, the, the Alaska situation is, is difficult. Let's take a look what happens here. I'm really hoping we win this time. And then we're going to have to end the episode, unfortunately. Yeah, but hopefully this is a... A win. Let's see what happens. But yeah, watch the divisions. We have them all selected right now. Most of these have very high organization. They haven't even engaged in the battle. We've had a couple leave here. And I'm just wanting to watch to see. Yep, they all pull off. Once a, It wasn't the first one that pulled off. Now, you do get a penalty when divisions leave, I believe. There's an organization hit when a division leaves. 
but it's not like that. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, man. Man, I really wish they'd take some time to, to fix, like, just have a bug fixing patch, man. To fix, like, the, the many bugs that have kind of, like, accumulated over the years. You know, this is a f over four-year-old game. And, uh, man, they, they need to do something, honestly. I want to attack here, but, you know, they just don't, uh, <laughs> we don't have, uh, enough time. So, yeah, it does look like we're going to lose at that point. Uh, this is a, a tough fight here. Let's take a look at the casualties, guys, and then we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Uh, so, as of right now, we take 120,000 casualties. Uh, almost 60,000 of that were done by the Americans. Looking at the casualties we have caused uh, to everybody, uh, we've done 50,000 to the Canadians. They've done less than six to us. You see if we've added any additional casualties to, like, the British. 205,000 almost, a little bit there. Uh, 208,000 to the French, not bad there. Uh, the Americans are currently 7% towards capitulation. And we have 45% for the collaboration with them, of course. And they have 44% almost of their war effort. We've killed 1.3 million. Not bad. Not bad at all compared to the 60,000 they've killed of ours. Yeah, pretty good overall, guys. Okay, uh, so... I guess that's it. We killed 50, almost 51,000 Indians here. Interesting. I'm guessing those are just, we just sunk them. Because uh, I don't remember ever fighting any Indian divisions. Uh, so yeah, that's the total situation here. You know, we're, we're taking this up, but Germany still has control of the treaty as of right now at 47%. In fact, I think they increased their numbers because I think it was at 44% for war participation before, if I wasn't mistaken. So I think other countries are losing participation. Well, Germany and us are gaining it. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer because we're trying to make sure we control the treaty, not Germany. And yeah, they, they have 47%. A big part of that is the, the higher casualties. Uh, but they also have a lot from occupation, guys. Uh, and they've sunk... They've gotten 124 from sinking any ships. We're only getting 54. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a big part of it as well. Uh, more than anything, though, it does seem like the occupation is what's making the difference here for them. Yep. Uh, and, and a big part of that, of course, is the territory they conquered in Africa from the from the uh, French. So hopefully we can get it up with the conquest of America and Canada. We'll just have to see how that ends up going. Uh, but that is the end of today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Next episode, we will... Man, I'm hoping we can get this invasion done. And then we'll also launch this invasion here. And then we'll move these troops over to Hawaii. Again, I'm, I'm trying to get this done first because I don't know that this one's going to be successful uh, before we we land in, in uh, on the Pacific Coast. We might just have to do it, though, guys. Uh, we will need more troops here. And frankly, what we might want to do is go ahead and change up the numbers here. Uh, get all these guys changed up over to the uh, larger division designs. Uh, that might be worth doing here. We can also go ahead and set these guys up so that these two divisions are, are training here. Uh, so that's a possibility, just sending some more troops here. Maybe even, yeah, it looks like we already have some troops that can come over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get these guys coming over here. And then maybe go ahead and also send one of these divisions uh, over to the Mas Madag Madagascar invasion. Though, you know what, they'll never get here in time. And then what we'll want to do is have somebody cover this for us. Probably these guys here. I know that this is pretty far away here. It's probably actually closer to have them do it. Now I'm thinking about it. And if we had them go all the way around, then it'd improve their efficiency. So yeah, we'll have them cover this for us so that we can do the invasion with these troops here. We'll just send the four, and we'll see how that ends up going. So Madagascar, the invasion of Madagascar, and then continuing this invasion, which again, this is just not working properly. And then the invasion of the West Coast. Those will all be happening next episode uh, which remember next episode will not be until thursday since we are moving to the every other day format from here on out uh, but i hope you guys did enjoy today's episode if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment i do hope to see y'all on the next episode on thursday and thanks for watching